Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen. I greet you again in the precious name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I count it a privilege that I am here. I have one message for you from the Lord. If you don't have faith, you don't have anything. If you don't have faith, you don't have anything. That's the message today. If you don't have faith, you don't have anything. The message today is if you don't have faith, you don't have Everything. We all want to have a lot of everything. We all want to have a lot of everything. But I want you to know that if you don't have faith, you don't have anything. If you have one toy at home, one toy, you want more toys. We all want a lot of everything. Even when you have 10 toys, you want more toys. We all want a lot of everything. When you have clothes, you still want more clothes. When you have food, you want more of sweet food. We all want to have a lot of everything. When you have friends, you want a lot of friends. When you want marks in class when you have an exam, you want as many marks as possible. We all want a lot of everything. But the message today is that even if you have a lot of everything, unless you have faith, you have nothing. If you don't have faith, you don't have anything. If you don't have faith, you don't have anything. If you don't have faith, you don't have anything. That's the message I came to tell you today. If you don't have faith, 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 you don't have anything. When you go to the book of Luke chapter 12, there's a very interesting story. Jesus gave a parable, a story, and he said that there was once a rich man. And all of us want to be rich because rich people have a lot of everything. You are rich when you have a lot of everything. So Jesus tells us a story of a rich man, very rich man, he had a big piece of land and the Bible says he planted crop. And he was a rich man so he knew exactly what type of seeds to plant. And he knew exactly how to cultivate. And at the end of the season he had a bumper harvest. Rich man harvested a lot and Jesus said that this rich man looked at the store he had and he said my bonds are small the store is small and he said I will build a bigger barn so that I can keep I can store the crop that I have harvested and he built big barns. And he stored his 
harvest. And when he looked at the harvest, he said, I think I have enough for retirement. He said, I'm going to relax. I will go to Mombasa and swim. I will be only taking juice, eating pizza, and ordering chips every day, taking soda, enjoying life. I will just be ordering the best of fish, the best of ugali, and enjoy life. I will not care about anything. I'm about to enjoy life. But the Bible says something. The Bible says something in verse 20. Luke chapter 12, verse 20. The Bible says, But God said to him, But God said to him, But God said to him, You fool! This is a rich man that God calls a fool. But a fool, a man with more money than everybody, but a fool, a man with the best clothes, but a fool, a man with the most expensive shoes, but a fool, a man with the most expensive watch, but a fool, a man with the most expensive mobile phone, but a fool. The Bible Your life will be demanded from you. Then who will get what you have prepared for yourself? That God told him, you are a fool because you will die tonight. And the store you built and the crop you put inside, who do you think will get it? You are a fool. Verse 21, verse 21, let's read verse 21, verse 21. Jesus concluded the parable by saying, This is how it will be with whoever stores up things for themselves, but is not rich towards God. That if you have everything, but you don't have God, you are a fool. If you have everything, but you don't have God, you are a fool. If you don't have faith, you don't have anything, you are a fool. Jesus said that if you are rich, having everything, but you don't have faith in God, you are a what? I can't tell you, you are a what? I can't tell you, you are a what? If you have the best shoes, but you don't have God, you are a what? If you have more pocket money than everyone, but you don't have God, you are a what? Even if your father has the best car and you don't have God, you are a what? I can tell you, there are people who are not responding. Are those the fools? I'm asking you, are a what? are rich in the things of this world, but you are not rich in the things of God, you are a fool. The man was rich, but he did not have faith. Therefore, he had nothing in because he did not have faith. He died and left everything behind. And that is the meaning of our message today. If you don't have faith, you don't have what? If you don't have faith, you don't have what? If you don't have faith, you don't have what? He was a rich fool, not because he lacked money, but because he lacked faith. The man was a fool, not because his mobile phone was not expensive, not because he didn't have a nice house, but because he did not have faith in God.
he was a fool. He was a fool. I'm here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that anyone who has everything but does not have God is a fool. You are a fool. Faith without money makes you a poor fool. When you don't have faith and you don't have money, you are poor and you are a fool. So, if you have money and you have, you lack faith, you are a rich fool. If you have education without money, you are, if you have education without faith, you are an educated fool. Oh, who became number one in class? Me. Do you pray to God? No, you are the number one fool. You became number one, but you are a fool. Who has got the highest grade in their stream? Me. But do you attend church? Do you enjoy being in church? Or you are bored when you are in church? I'm just bored in church. I wish they could finish quickly. You are you have the best grade, but a fool. A fool. Without God, you are a fool. Even when you become Kenya one, Kenya one, the best in Kenya, and you are lifted on the shoulders of your relative, and they are all singing, and the newspaper people and the media are taking, they are taking the video of a fool. A fool who is Kenya one. A fool with the best marks. A fool without God. If you don't have faith, you don't have anything. If you don't have faith, you don't have anything. If you don't have faith, you don't have anything. Even when you are the best in chemistry, you are the best in chemistry but a fool. If you don't have faith, you don't have God. If you don't have faith, you don't have God. If you don't have faith, you don't have what? You are in school and you are at the age where you are supposed to get baptized. And yet you are not baptized. You are a fool. You see the Bible says, listen friends, listen. The Bible says, whoever believes and is baptized should be saved. We should baptize people who can believe. Not tiny children. We are not interested in having big numbers. Then where do we take? We are interested in baptizing people who are of age. They can understand the word of God and they can make a decision about the word of God. Those are the people who should be baptized. Not tiny toads who are just queuing out of excitement to also get baptized like others. We will have to baptize them again in the future. What a waste. Feeding people in church books who can't give camp offering, can't give tithe, can't give offering. So you have a big number of people, but tithe and offering very low. Why? The large population of people baptized there are children who have no idea that they know God. No, we are not interested in baptizing tiny children just to impress anyone. We are going to baptize people who are of age, 12 years and above, who can make up their mind and say, I know why I want to get baptized. And if you are of age, 12 years and above, of age, and you know you should get baptized, and you have had opportunity to get baptized, but you have been sitting, just looking around, you are an educated fool. You are a fool. Why? The Bible says that Jesus said, if you are rich in the things of this world, but you are not rich in the things of God, you are not. I can tell you, you are not. You are not. Those are the words of Jesus. Don't you? So an opportunity is given. Who wants to get baptized? And you are seated crossing your legs. The day you will have enough money, you can cross your legs. Are we together? But this is the time to seek the Lord so that we don't go through school and we are full. You can be a professor like myself, but without Jesus, you are a professor 
and a fool at the same time. Jesus makes a difference. Listen to me, children. If you don't have faith, you don't have anything. You are a fool. A fool is a person who thinks they have it, but they don't have it. Let me tell you, if I die today, my next life will not be determined by the academic papers I've acquired, but by my faith in God. When we get to the gates of heaven, the question will not be, can all professors lie here? No. Only those who believe in God. And that's why, if you have everything and you don't have God, you are a fool because this life can end any time. I just wanted you to know, if you don't have faith, you don't have God. I can tell you, if you don't have faith, you don't have God. If you don't have faith, you don't have God. Let me tell you, my friends, it is worse if you are failing in school and you are also not baptized. Can you imagine? In school, you are failing. Baptism, you are not baptized. That means you are a full square. <laughs> full square. That means you are a fool how many times? Two times. Because you are a fool in the class you are not making. And even in the peace of God you are not making. How can you be a fool two times? Full square. And there are many full square. Making noise, riotous, not listening to anyone, behaving like they don't care. And in the class, sufuri. God, sufuri. Full But he was a fool. And God called from heaven and said, You fool. <laughs> After you have done all this, do you know tonight you are dying? So, all this work you are doing, who will remain with this? Fools without God. If you don't have faith, you don't have God. If you don't have faith, you don't have God. If you are poor, and you do not have faith, you are a poor fool. And there are such people. They are poor, they don't have money, but they don't have faith. So what kind of people are they? A poor fool. A poor fool. That's why I came to tell you, friends, if you don't have faith, you don't have what? If you don't have faith, you don't have what? If you don't have faith, you don't have what? You may have position and money and influence. And that makes you a very powerful person. But without Jesus, you are a powerful fool. Can be very powerful. A politician, governor, member of parliament, honorable member, and what have you. Big title. When people see you, they bow down while greeting you because they tremble at your influence and money and power. But if you don't have God, you are His Excellency the Fool. <laughs> honorable Fool. You are a honorable Fool. I'm here to tell you, if you don't have faith, you don't have what? If you are married and you do not have faith in God and you don't practice your faith in God inside your marriage, you are a married what? I can't tell you, you are a married what? You are a married fool. You are married like a fool because you are not practicing what the Bible says. Husbands love your wives. You don't have to love them because they are lovable. You love them because God says love. If you can't love your wife, you are a married fool. And the Bible says, wives submit to your husband. They may be incompetent, they may not fit any submission, they may be useless men, but you made a commitment, a vow, God says submit. If you don't submit to your husband, you are a married fool. So many married fools around, going around calling rapists 
expectations to be assisted. If you don't have it, faith, you don't have what? Anything. I can't tell you, if you don't have faith, you don't have what? Anything. If you are a parent and you don't have faith in God, you are a foolish parent. The parent doesn't make you very clever. You are a foolish parent. If you have white hair and you don't have God, you are a fool with what? <laughs> God is everything. If you don't have God, you don't have anything. If you don't have God, you don't have anything. I'm here to tell you, friends, if you are beautiful and in need, but without faith, you are a beautiful fool. <laughs> oh, look at that very beautiful fool. Opinions of 
of men and women, whether religious, relatives, or otherwise, there is only one description for you. What is that description? And those are the words Jesus said. God spoke from heaven and said, you are a fool. Because you had everything in the world. You understood everything, but you don't understand anything about the word of God. You find some students, they sit at a corner, and there's a student who knows everything. They know about Raila. They know about governor. You listen to them speaking politics, you will think when they leave school, they go to parliament. But they don't know anything about the word of God. Those are informed fools. They are informed, but they are what? I can't tell you they are informed, but they are what? I can't tell you they are informed, but they are what? My friends, if you don't know that when people die, they remain in the grave until the resurrection day. For the Bible teaches that the dead will resurrect. The dead are not going to heaven. But you are in there saying, yeah, my grandmother died and is in heaven. You are a fool. <laughs> because if your grandmother is in heaven, when Jesus comes to resurrect people, will your grandmother resurrect? Now that your grandmother is in heaven. So are there people who resurrect and others have already gone to heaven? Do you realize you are a fool? You need to understand what the Bible teaches so that you are not counted among fools. When somebody dies, they remain in the grave until resurrection day, when the people will get what they deserve. The righteous will go to heaven and the wicked will go into the fire on resurrection day. If you don't know that from the Bible, and yet you have been hanging around Ranen here, we have a small explanation for you. Uh, what? I can't tell you you are a what? A fool. You see, friends, if you cannot tell that the true church, according to Revelation chapter 12, verse 17, the remnant of the sea, the remnant of the church, her remnant are those who obey the law of God and have the testimony of Jesus. What does that mean from Revelation 12, verse 17? It means that those who belong to the true church are those who keep the law of God, not because they want to be saved, but because they are already saved. If you don't know that, you are a fool. You can't be knowing everything. Oh, the periodic table, you know everything. K for potassium, Na for sodium, Fe for iron. You know, you know so much things. You know binomial nomenclature, Z makes. Are we together? And you are parallel for life, and you are there mastering all these things. But you do not know that those who believe in God are those who keep the Ten Commandments because they are already saved. Then for sure you are a fool. I can tell you, my friends, that if you don't have faith, you don't have what? If you don't have faith, you don't have what? If you cannot tell that we are saved by faith and not by what we do, you are a fool. Jesus called the rich man a fool because the rich man had everything except faith. The rich man was a fool because he had everything except what? Except faith. If you don't have faith, you don't have what? He was, he was not rich towards God. That's what the Bible says in Luke chapter 12, verse 21. The Bible says he was not rich towards God. You know what that means? He was not a prayerful person. He, he was not in Bible study. He was not rich in church attendance. Any small opportunity to miss the church, they will be missing it. He was not rich in reverence in church. When he comes to church or when she comes to church, they are very uncomfortable. But when they are everywhere else, they are comfortable. Where they in church, they are just tired. Mm. You look at their face, you feel they are sick. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they want to leave. <laughs> when will this church end? <laughs> you know, they try something. Say, we 
have now finished, you can go, hey! <laughs> they are going, fool! 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 That's a fool! You see, they are not rich in the things of God. He was not rich in church participation. When they say, how many want to go for sports in another SDA school? Hey, please, please, I've never gone. I want to go. How many will sing in church today? No, 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 no. And don't choose me. Don't, don't choose me. Why don't you choose me? Don't choose yourself. How many want to go for drama? Me, I've never gone. Please, teacher, let me go. I've never been for four. I need to go. I need to go. Okay. How many will participate in church and read the scriptures? Can somebody pray? Go so that I go. No, 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 no. Very bright guy. 
God bless you so much. Another bright gentleman there coming. What does the church say? Amen. Amen. Most people, they don't sit around waiting for others. And hey, let me see who will go. Then I won't so go. No, most people. God bless you so much. God bless you. Make up their life to Jesus. No fools who are waiting for others. No. Most people who make up their life. Look around and say, I have decided. I don't need to see anyone. I make up my mind for Jesus. Is there anyone else? Is there anyone else? Is there anyone else? Is there anyone else? Anyone else? We don't want to be fools. Some things are for fools only. We don't want to be fools. We want to be counted among the wise. Among the wise. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? One more person, then we pray. We don't have the whole day here. Yeah. We want to say that we want to be counted among the wise. Because the Bible says the wise will shine. And this wise will shine. God bless you so much. We are going to pray. I, I will not call forever. So if you are sitting there saying, I'm waiting for pastors to say, one more. I can feel my heart telling me there is one at that one. I'm not going to say that. Because the Spirit is speaking to you, not to me. Are we together? So if you are there, just stand up and come. Don't wait for me to say, one more. Hey, one more. One more, please. One more, come. How can I beg you to be among the wise? If you are comfortable being a fool, so be it. <laughs> be the fool. But if you want to be among the wise, you stand up and do what? And come and be counted. May the Lord bless you so much. My dear brothers and sisters, you have made a good choice. After this prayer, we will go together at the back there, and then you will meet the pastor. We will pray for you again. Is that okay? Yeah. Let's rise up for prayer, God's people. Let's rise up for prayer. Our dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for making it clear to us that if we don't have faith, we don't have anything. We don't want to be counted among the fools. We want to be counted among the wise. Look at the children who have stepped up front. Make them wise. And the Bible says the wise will shine. May they shine in their academic life. May they be handsome and beautiful. May they be lovely, excellent people. May you prosper them. May they not lack anything because they are chosen to be wise in knowing you. Baptize them with your Holy Spirit. And all of us who are here who have been baptized, help us to remain wise. This is our prayer today. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, may the church say Amen. Amen.